Hello everybody, Jimmy is Promo here back again with another awesome video. And if at any point in time in this video you guys like what you see, make sure you guys hit on that like button. As well as don't forget to hit on that subscribe and hit on that bell for notifications so you get notified of any future videos. So in today's video, we're going to be comparing four different Samsung Galaxy devices. The first one right over here is the Samsung Galaxy S8 running the Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. And then we have this year's model, the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 inside of the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So it'll be pretty nice to see the difference between 2000. 2017 Snapdragon versus 2018 Snapdragon. We also are going to be comparing them versus Exynos. So here is the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 running Exynos 8895. And then this year's model, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, the Exynos 9810. So again, we're going to be checking out the differences not only between the Exynos and the Snapdragon, but we're also able to check out the Snapdragon of this year versus last year, as well as the Exynos of this year and last year. Now also within these tests, we're not just checking out the CPU, we're also checking out the graphics card. So in the Galaxy S8 of last year, it does use the Adreno 540, and then this year's model, the Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus is using the Adreno 630. So just remember, if you are using Snapdragon, your graphics card is Adreno. But now if you are using a Exynos version, you are using Mali. So this one in the Galaxy Note 8 is Mali G7, and then in the Galaxy S9 Plus, it is the Mali G72. So now we're able to check out not only CPUs, but also graphics going between last year model versus this year's models, but also going against the Exynos versus Snapdragon. Now, if you are curious, the application I used when I was getting all those different information of all these different devices is ADA64. So I love using ADA64 to give me all the different information of the different sensors and also the devices and components inside of these phones. Now, the first benchmark test that we're going to do is going to be Geekbench 4. So we're going to go inside of here and then we're just going to run the CPU benchmark. So here are the results and definitely came out as expected. So let's first look at these two Snapdragon devices. So if you happen to live in the United States and you have the Snapdragon 845, you can see here the Galaxy S9, S9 Plus is much faster than the previous model of the Galaxy S8. And then if you were using any of the Exynos versions of this year, definitely was able to surpass the last year's model of Exynos. And then the end results of both of these Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, as you can see that the Exynos 9810 versus the Snapdragon 845, the Exynos is just gonna be a little bit more powerful inside of the single core as well as multi-core versus the snapdragon brother right over here but now the very next test we're going to check out the graphics card and we're going to compare this adreno versus the mali and now for the next test we're going to be testing the n22 benchmark so here's the results of the N22 benchmark. And I do wanna mention that these three screens here are gonna be just a little bit different than this one over here. I was forced to use the latest updated version of N22 right over here, but you can also see that these two numbers are much greater than these two. And it's only because in the 2017 version over here, the 3D graphics was unsupported. So I was unable to register some numbers. That's why it's a little bit lower than over here, which is where the 3D graphics was able to be tested. But when you compare these two over here, the Exynos version with the Mali G72 was able to kind of come up and go above this one over here. But you got to remember this one is running with RAM, CPU, as well as 3D graphics and everything else. Even though this one came off above the higher number for graphics, for some reason, this Adreno 630, in terms of my own personal eyes checking it out, was much more smooth than the Mali G72, which has always been the case with Adreno. So if you happen to have Snapdragon, any type of Snapdragon device when you're using Adreno, your graphics, in terms of my own opinion, um, is going to be just a little bit better than the Exynos version of Mali. But the last point that I do want to make is that when you do move from year to year to year, the brand new Samsung Galaxy device, even if you compare the Adreno versus the last year's Adreno, is a huge upgrade along with the CPU when you look at the different Snapdragons that they're both using. But it goes for the same thing with the Exynos. The Exynos of 2018 is much better than the Exynos of 2017, along with the Mali graphics card. This one looked much better than what it looked like right over here on the Samsung Galaxy Note 8. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. Make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit on subscribe below the video, or you can hit subscribe right over here on the very bottom left-hand side. Make sure you share this video with your friends and family and social media sites, and hopefully this outcome was something that you would probably anticipate and expect. Outside of that, I'll see you guys later.